So this is the Oxford Boss Alarm Disc Lock and Chain and today we are going to run through how to use it. Originally designed as a standalone disc lock, it's a 14mm shackle with a built in 100dB alarm and a bright yellow casing. It's rated as sold secure gold and designed to resist attacks against dedicated tools. There's a chain too, built from 12mm thick heat treated steel. It gives you more options than just the lock on its own. Oxford don't include any instructions in the box, I'm going to show you how to use it and also replace the batteries if necessary. Now along with the lock you get three keys and there's also a code on there to get a new one cut if you so happen to lose all three. You insert it into the bottom of the lock and turn. Out pops the shackle. Now we've released the shackle you can see one leg is painted red. This corresponds with a red arrow on the body. By putting the red leg into the red slot you will set the alarm. If you don't want to have the alarm on, you can put it in the other way around, say for transport or if you just don't want the alarm on. So you'll get a single beep confirming it's in the right slot and then a second beep to confirm it's armed. There we go, much louder and then we can take our key out and away we go. It will sit quietly and patiently until there is movement involved. From my experience it's not overly sensitive but it will go off if someone starts moving it around. The alarm will go off in 10 second bursts and after each burst check to see if it's still moving and then carry on sounding if it is. You can reduce the noise by covering the speaker hole which would be the only foible in the alarm function. Now something that's not very common but will need to happen if you've been using the lock for a long time changing the batteries. You just need a screwdriver and six LR44 batteries. You can find these in most supermarkets or online and they're usually found in like watches or small electronics or a car key or something like that. So all you need to do is unlock the lock and remove the shackle. There's a screw located next to the neutral hole, just unscrew that. That is a Phillips head. It's only a short screw so it won't take you very long but it is very important you take the shackle out as that is going to prevent the battery case from coming out. Once undone, you can simply slide out the battery tray where you'll see the alarm. Flip it over and you'll see a small plastic covering in the center. You can just pop this off quite simply just using your fingernail and there you'll find your six LR44 batteries. You can just pop these out by giving them a little tap like that and out they fall. They're quite straightforward to remove. There we go. And then we can just replace them and do the reverse process to put it all back together. Now if you found this video helpful I'd really appreciate it if you could drop me a subscribe. It tells YouTube that you like watching the videos but it also tells my bosses that you like watching them as well and I get to keep making them. Now it'd really help me out as well if you could drop me a comment below about what you'd like to see next. Maybe it's another how to use a product, maybe it's a review on something or maybe you just want to know something about motorcycling in general. Let me know, I would love to hear it and create that video for you. Have fun, ride safe and I'll see you in the next one.